why does Hollywood feel the need to point out the piñata in the room? You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. She shouts out the nominees, right? Selena right. Gomez, Sofia Vergara, Isa Lopez, um, uh, Lizzie Zayas. Night makes me, well, almost happy and certainly less angry because tonight is among the most diverse list of nominees in Emmy history. And I see lots of my incredibly talented Latinx brothers and sisters. Selena Gomez is nominated for Only Murders in the Building. And she's been carrying Steve Martin and Martin Short for three whole seasons. <laughs> And you know, which is nice because you're you're singling them out. The thing is, is that they all lost except for one. And that's kind of embarrassing. And, and and I and I got to think, why did that happen? Mm. Not not being not being uh, singled out, not, not being nominated. I mean, right. they all earned their nomination. Fantastic. And then Lizzie for for the Bear, which I've never seen. I hear it's amazing. Mm -hmm. She won Best Supporting Actress. Cool. Fantastic, right? But. Why does Hollywood feel the need to point out the piñata in the room? Well, see, we nominated them. They didn't win. But look, there they are. 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 To me, that is the very definition of being just a diversity token. Tokenism. And it kind of, it kind of, for me, diminishes the merit and their talent that got them there. Right? Sofia Vergara, executive producer, and starred in Griselda. Really good performance. Some great stuff. Selena Gomez, comedic. Stephen Martin, executive producer, star, three seasons, doing her thing, getting better and better. Pretty good. Isa Lopez. Director, showrunner, writer of uh, True Detective Night Country. Wasn't my favorite. I didn't like it. I supported her and I supported her by watching the show. But it wasn't, I, you know, I didn't like it. But she got nominated. Fantastic. What to me that says is, yes, it's very diverse in the quality of, of, of people that have been uh, rightly nominated because they're in, they're in the rooms, beautiful. But when you point them out, you subjugate them to being a hanging piñata. Like, look, we got our colorful people. And that to me is what Hollywood continues to do. It's like this, uh, this liberal gringo guilt ism that only comes from Hollywood where they reward themselves by, you know, uh, they validate themselves by, uh, acknowledging it's like, well, we have Brown people. We have black people. We have gay people. We have people who are disabled because we are open and tolerant of all people, man. I've grown up with this. Uh, my whole life here in LA, I know the game. I know how people how 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 people work like this, and to see legs point that out, I honestly believe is a huge disservice. At the end of the day, in the long game of things, I guarantee you, every actor, every writer up there, at the end of the day, they want two things. 
They want to keep working and they want to be considered an artist first who can do anything. So, balls in your court, Hollywood. What you going to do is because it was a Hispanic Heritage Month and you wanted to get that hype going for that first day? Representation, representation. What you going to do next? <laughs>